Hi, today I want to try out something. I want to see whether I can set up my Qingli license without internet. The idea is if I want to take my Qingli line to set up in another location like a wedding venue or somewhere else, I have to assume there's no internet connection and maybe no mobile reception at all. I know the Twingly Lite does allow you to connect directly to the mobile phone without a home network, but that's only one to one. What I want to try is to use my laptop, assume I'm taking my laptop to the venue and make it as a hotspot so all the lights can connect to my laptop. So let's see whether we can get it work. Okay, this is my laptop. I'm using the Windows 10 Pro. And before I start, I have to turn off my router, so make sure there's no home network connected to my laptop. And now let's go to hotspot. And you can see there is a message. I can't turn on the hotspot because I'm not connected to any network. So there is a problem. I have checked on the internet and found different suggestions. There's one uh, using the hotspot light, uh, which can be downloaded from Microsoft Store. Before doing that, I need to enable my home network again to, and go on the internet to download. Okay, now I'm back online. Let's go to Apps and Microsoft Store. Search for Hotspot Light. That one here, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Let's get it. Okay, it's done. But before I test this, I have to turn off my router again. Okay, now my home network is off here. Let's launch it. Okay, give it a hotspot name. Twingly hotspot. So I need to give it a password. On. Hotspot created. Close it. So now I pretend I have set up the light in the new location and my phone is now connected to the laptop hotspot and on flight mode there's no mobile data and Bluetooth is turned on and I have also reset my light. Now the LED indicator is blinking green. So let's start the Changli app. For some reason, it takes really long to start without the internet. Okay, it's there. So let's go to here to add the light. Add. Now press the button. Okay, now I just try it again. It's come to the that point again, now it's connect to the Wi-Fi. So I have to join the network. Okay, this time seems to be working. Now let me map the light. So now I'm back to my desktop. Here is my hotspot light, it's on at the moment. Uh, if you wonder what are these squares here, I just found out they are basically internet uh, advertisement. Because I'm not connected to the internet, now uh, we don't see any ads here. I'm sure you can find a better hotspot app uh, without ads. Anyway, we just want to try out the concept. So let's have a look. So this is my mobile hotspot at the moment. There are two Twingly lights connected. Now I'm going to use my GIF sequencer to upload 
playlist to the light here. You can see there are two lights uh, detected. I have to admit I'm using a private build of my GIF sequencer. Currently the 2.0 has been released, but uh, that one requires internet connection, so I won't be able to use it. Then I fixed the problem. I will put a fix in the next version. So let's continue. Okay, I have already prepared a playlist here. Then you can see there are two lights. Let's try to, to upload to both lights. Upload. So uploading to one. One is uploaded. Okay, now you can see it. both are uploaded. You can see I don't have internet access. Basically, that's only the hotspot. The lights are connected. Because all the animation already uploaded, I can shut down the hotspot. But uh, before I do that, I want to restart the playlist to get them synchronized. Okay, now you can see they are uh, running uh, synchronized. So after this experiment, uh, we have seen it's possible to connect uh, my Trimly lights with our uh, local network. This is good if you want to take the lights to a party and set it up if we don't have access to the local network and even no uh, mobile data access, then we still can use the laptop to create hotspot. Although there are some difficulties at the beginning when I try to use the Twingy app to connect to the hotspot. Sometimes also my GIF sequencer couldn't connect to the light, but just we try and it works again. So it's luckily we don't need the hotspot to run the light because the playlist is uploaded to the light. We just turn it on and the hotspot can be off. I hope you enjoyed the video and find the video useful. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.